Hello there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Brotato. Today we're going to be playing the lucky character who gets plus 100 luck. Luck modifications are increased by 25% plus 75% chance to deal 18 uh, damage which is 15% of your luck. Damage to a random enemy uh, when you pick up a material but minus 60% attack speed and minus 50% XP gain. That's a bit crazy. So we want to pick up things like Baby Elephant, um, Cyber Ball. We'll get loads of um, consumables on the ground from uh, the luck as well. So I think I'm just going to go for a stick run again. Stick seems to be the safest because I don't really know what to build around him except for those items. But there's no guarantee we're actually going to get them. So I think... Oh, hello. We saw... Oh, Hello. He is popping like crazy. Look at this. That's quite fun. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping we do get some cyber balls and baby elephants because I'd love to see. I'd love to see what this run could be capable of. Um. So we'll just go for anything luck based. So we're going to avoid things like that. Go for a stick. Get a coupon. Cacti club. Bag would be brilliant. One more. Did I re-roll? No, that wasn't a stick that I re-rolled past. I think it was a slingshot, wasn't it? Who knows? But yeah, sticks are always safe because they just give you a little bit of extra damage anyway. Um, I think they got some inherent. No, they haven't got inherent knockback. Okay, but they give you some life, uh, which is nice. And I think today we kind of want to focus on being more of a tank and letting the luck do our damage ideally i will definitely take a scar to try and counteract some of that uh, xp gain down we'll take luck whenever we can uh, it's wave three so we want to get as many sticks as we can that's good to know you can get blue items on wave three i think that's the earliest one i've ever seen I might be wrong, but I think it is. Oh, that's just so funny that they pop in the background. I love it. So, things other than Cyber Ball and Baby Elephant, things that will probably help would be um, the Gecko, because that has a chance to instantly attract materials to you. I'm sure that can trigger Baby Elephants and things like that. There's a Legendary Relic, which picks up all the materials as it drops i think that should work uh we'll find out more luck please uh i can save for a tree a stick and a bag perfect more trees and bags work very well together but you can see okay hang on I was going to say, you can see where we're getting loads more consumables, but then it just wouldn't spawn consumables, so that's a bit of an awkward example. But these little groups are nice because you're picking up loads at once. Ah. Alright, can we get Cyberwall, please? I should have gone for the tree. More luck. Health regen sounds good to me. Another coupon? Okay. So I assume, and I'm heavily assuming, that we can use damage percentage to scale it. I believe we can. Reroll one more time. I don't know why. I believe we can. So I think we will go for things like Cyclops Worms because we're not too worried about range. But we want a big percentage impact if we can. But yeah. Not sure what else we fancy today other than just anything that can attract or provide luck. So like the bowler's hat might be good because that gives you quite a bit of luck. Uh, boop, 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 boop. I mean, just a cyber ball. Just give me a cyber ball. 
That'd be super helpful to start with. I mean, wandering bots. That could do as well. 10 luck. Starting to do some decent damage. So let's have a look here. 23%. Whoopsie. 25. It does indeed get affected by it. That strange book is so early that it would be great if we weren't on a on a lucky based character. One more. Okay. I'll be curious to see how this character does with elites as well. I have a feeling this isn't going to be an elite killer. I might be wrong because sticks are... I feel like sticks can be quite strong if you get the attack speed, which we haven't really got at the moment. And we're extremely slow. But look at that, we've got crates. So that's going to bring in a decent amount of money. Any more trees for us at the moment? I'm hoping that this character is... And I assume they are tagged for luck. So those kind of items we should see regularly. No. I mean, I'll take that. I haven't got any harvesting, but I think I'm just picking luck. We don't need to worry about pumpkin this time around. Take some of that. There's a cyber ball for us. Perfect. So, Cyberball, 15% chance to deal 46% uh, 46 damage. 75% chance to deal 27 damage to a random enemy when you pick one up. So, these can chain off each other. I don't know if Baby Elephant can scale jointly with the Lucky Passive, because I think that's where we get it from. Um, recycling Machine is great. So, Cyberball is when an enemy dies. Yeah, there you go. Nice. That's going to be quite nice, because you're just going to see these random pops all over now. Oh, hello. We forgot about it, you. See, I tell you what. I've had worse runs. I've definitely had worse runs. We're doing enough damage that it can instantly pop some of the ads, so that's going to be a huge help for us. Especially if we end up chaining off um, cyberballs, I think, can trigger each other. Or it can trigger itself, should I say, because they actually do stack to make the cyberball stronger. Which I'll, if we find another one, I'll show you. Yeah, I'll take an ugly tooth. Ten luck. Uh, I said I'd take that. Another bag, which is great. Sitting at three bags, so we've maxed out on that one. I always find gambling token tempting. I'm going to lock it just to see. Crown is also very tempting, but we never <laughs> invested into harvesting. So, awkward for us. Uh, cool, I'm going to call it there. Wave 9 is going to be good fun. When we get our horde wave and we just see things popping up everywhere. That'll be good. Ugly Tooth is going to keep people off of us for a bit. Which is nice. More trees also means more materials that we can pick up. I don't know if a tree death counts as triggering Cyberball. I would assume not. Because otherwise you'd probably get like attack speed buff for every tree if they had like a monster tag. So I assume not. Otherwise that could be a, a weird and wonderful way to do it. Trigger some damage for every tree you kill. Alright. Overall. Good. Happy with it. More scars. Absolutely. Percentage damage. That one's doing 31. Now up to 34. So I think it's definitely worth doing it. Did I... I didn't lock you. So you turned up again. 
Ooh. That's not an explosion, is it? Cyberball is not an explosion. I don't think it is. I will take gambling token. Uh, yep, I completely ignored Bowler Hat. 15 luck, 18 harvesting. Harvesting down. Nope, we want more enemies, I think. Uh, yep. Okay, we're going to start building tanky now. Might want to get some knockback. Additional knockback on our sticks. So as you can see, we're just randomly starting to uh, pop them in the background. Which is pretty nice. Loads of consumables on the floor. So I'm not too worried about that. Sticks do decent damage on their own. They're doing, what, like 48 and 60 something. So that's good. Also, the good thing is, if there's less enemies on the screen, they can be a bit more targeted on the larger enemies, I assume. Actually, this is probably the safest I've felt in a long time, he says, as he gets absolutely dominated. It weirdly feels okay. But it doesn't feel like we're relying on Cyberball to do the damage. And I think that's maybe where we can fall down. Because we haven't. You know what, I'll take piggy bank. You know what? Wisdom would be good. I think wisdom would be good. We're not doing a lot of damage up front. So we want to make sure that we just scale our damage a little bit. I'll take another one of those. Um, health regen. 12% damage. Power generator. That's big for us because we have been stacking speed quite a bit. So yes to that. So now our cyber ball, for example, is doing 71 damage, 41 damage there. I'm not going to take the other one. Triangular power um, is is a bait. I'm not going to take that. <laughs> now we're starting to get loads of harvesting. How annoying. Um, rip and tear. Deals 8 damage. So this doesn't count as melee damage, but this scales off melee damage. I'll tell you what, we could have scaled melee damage and gone for rip and tear. I'm not going to at the moment, but I think we could have done that. Uh, anything of good? No. Alright. Wave 10. The joys of wave 10. What are we doing? Can we get some more cyber balls, please? Baby elephants, geckos. Uh, I don't know what other things we had. There's loads of stuff that um, can attract materials to you or trigger stuff when you pick up materials. The metal detector? Does that... Do we think that... That says it doubles the value of the material you pick up. Do we think it just triggers it twice? Or do we think it actually just doubles the value? That would be a thought. I'd assume it would just double the value. But that would be quite a funny interaction. If that was the case. Yeah, we're doing loads of damage with these sticks. We had a massive stick upgrade. Sounds weird to say, but we did. Yeah, I'll take that. Nope. Uh, nope. Although pick up range could have been good. 15 luck. 10 armor. Ooh, wolf helmet. That's actually relevant today. I like it. Uh, another stick, more speed up. We don't need that. Take some coffee. Uh, there's baby elephant for us. Hang on. It does scale with our passive. 
because we haven't got one of these so the damage dealt is going to be from here so what i meant when it if we have multiple of these they scale together so if we pick this one up i think it becomes i think it becomes 95 percent chance to deal damage to an enemy i don't know if they will work together because they're different things completely um but maybe uh let's go so there'll be an elite on this wave i think or is it next wave might be next wave uh, just to double check what was it uh when you pick up a material so yeah it's we have some speed as well which is just nice. So now we can really just go around collecting materials whenever we want. Just go do the trees. We can start the cycle all over again. What would be funny is if we could get Cyberball and that to uh, work with each other. And do like some chain reactions. Which it's a bit hard to... You can, you can see it happening, but it's a bit hard to pinpoint when you're... Uh, Trying to make sure you're not getting hit by anything else at the same time. But yeah, you can definitely start to tell that it's making a massive difference. Because there's hardly any enemies on screen at the moment. It's just not taking out the big guys at the moment. Uh, no. Yeah, I'll take a bit of extra. Yep. Scent damage... Yep, yep. More luck. Yep. Power generator's given us plus 42% damage. It's just brilliant. We're losing a little bit of health, which you probably should fix sooner rather than later. How is our attack speed looking? What do we start with attack speed wise? I mean, I'll do it. I'll definitely take coffee. I think that's valuable. Take another stick. I'll definitely take you. Sticks giving 10 damage for every additional stick you got. 124 damage. That's super nice. Alright, I don't like you. Alright, I don't think this is going to go very well for us. Because he is not very friendly to melee, uh, melee guys. So I just want to collect materials more than anything else because you can definitely tell it's making a difference. Actually, it's made, it's doing a lot of damage to him. I think we might accidentally kill him. All right, let's get. Are we accidentally going to kill him? Hang on, hang on. I want to get to the materials, please. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We nearly killed him. Not by even touching him. 20 luck, absolutely. More luck. I haven't got a lot of health regen. I'll take that. I'll take... I will take that. Haven't got crit chance for this. I don't know if um, Baby Elephant and the other one, uh, Cyber Ball, can, can crit. I don't actually know. Okay, so we should be okay in terms of XP gain. We're actually in the positive. So that's good. I don't think it was too detrimental to any more of our stats, because it was like range. We've We've tanked range a little bit, but because of things like wings and that, I think we've just gained quite a bit more out of it. So we're not in a bad position at all. All right, let's collect materials so we can start clearing up the screen. Because as fun as it is to have those big groups, I'd rather they be dead. Would rather they be dead. But I think Bag is the uh, real MVP at the moment. Oh, I'm... I'm not. I'm deliberately not looking at how much it's given us because I want to see at the end of this run um, whether we survive or die early. 
I want to see what it gives us. Because look at this. Four crates. Four crates is a lot. Yes, please. You know, I'll take more. I'll take more enemies. Um, kind of want to get some more luck, please. Okay, I'll take max health then. Another bowler hat. Baby gecko is definitely one we wanted. It's another cyber ball. Where... Well, I mean, it's just yeah. So yeah, I think it'll be 30% chance to deal. I don't know if it does the double damage, so we've got to keep an eye out for that. Um, which is pretty cool. More luck. I mean, focus works for us, doesn't it? So does this. Double the value of the picked up materials. Okay. Okay, something's doing 182 damage. Cyberball is when they die, right? Hang on, which one's... Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Where's Cyberball? I think it does 30% chance to do both the damage. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's really good. I thought it just did... Um, I thought it just put the percentages together. No, it does everything. That's freaking fantastic. Now we need to get that percentage higher. That'd be super helpful. But even just having the um, gecko, that can start a chain reaction as well. Because if we get a gecko, it will trigger a baby elephant, which might kill someone, which will trigger a cyber ball. Uh, it's a whole big thing. We're eventually going to get that attack speed. I don't know why I'm going for it. <laughs> Ooh. No, I'm going luck. I'm just buying as much luck as I possibly can. Uh, gonna leave Baby Gecko for now, and I'm gonna buy Cyberball. Look how much damage we're dealing, though. It's so much. Right, there is an Elite on this wave as well. Not my favorite Elite of all time, but... I'll be curious to know if we uh, can do enough damage to him. Good news is we will be clearing out quite a bit of the enemies. So dodging his abilities should be a lot easier for us. And we're just going to come get through this group. I mean, sticks are no joke either. They're doing some damage as well. It's Hey, we accidentally killed him. Perfect. If I'm not mistaken, what have we got? What have we got legendary-wise that has luck on it? I can only think of the wolf helm. I can't think of anything else off the top of my head, but hopefully we can get the um, legendary that picks up all the materials for us. That would be a good thing. Shady potion, yes. No. Yes. XP gain, though. I'll take that. It's not the best. Um, what do I fancy? More luck is what I fancy. Health regen is what I was thinking of. I mean, we're slowly leveling these sticks up. <laughs> Very slowly. Health, minus health, regen. Nope. I don't want to lose my luck. Crit chance. Yeah. That could be decent. Another bowler hat. Pick up range and harvest in. You know, I don't think so. It'd probably be fine. It would probably be fine. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 
in a weird way, you kind of don't want to pick up materials if there's no one on the map, do you? As strange as that is. Otherwise, it's almost like lost damage. Okay, this is a bit silly. Like, I'm not even getting a chance to hit things. But it's scaling. But you think about it, Lucky's probably going to allow us to unlock something that would help it. That tends to be how their unlocks work. So if you play them again, that item should help them. So what do we think he's going to have? Assume it's going to be something Lucky. I don't think it would be another pickup item. Although that could be cool if there was an additional pickup item for like a crate or something. Um... Every time you pick up a crate. <laughs> More wings. Attack speed, crit chance range. Nope, because I don't want the health down. That's nice. Explosive turret. Nope. Nope. Uh, I could take some dodge and harvest it. Sure. Free bunny. More luck. We are just having a great day with our luck at the moment. I will take a little bit of health up. Armor engineering. Nope. Ryan's magical leaf. I really wish we got this earlier. So I think I'm going to lock in gentle alien instead. And shady potion. Because the more enemies we have... Oop, hello. The more enemies we have on the final boss wave, actually, the better. Because I don't think we're going to want to stand right in their way when we uh, kill them. I was saying that. Like, we don't do bad damage. The sticks are actually doing work. But that's that's no fun. Oh, well. I was going to say, let's, let's accidentally kill them. But, no, they did that. Three, hang on, 360, 367. Is it chaining yet? No, I don't think it is. I feel like we need a few more baby elephants or another cyber ball to really get it to chain itself. It's kind of like we need to just jumpstart the loop a little bit. Which is fine. Realm. Realm. I should have used... Oh. You know what? No. I really... <laughs> I really like torture device. But I'm not going to do it. Because we've got all these consumables from all the uh, luck. I don't think it's worth it. More luck, please. There we go. 15 luck. Luck. Harvesting would be great if it wasn't this bad. Mouse. Another cyber ball. We've got four cyber balls. It doesn't say that there's a cap or anything. So we're at 60% chance to deal god knows how much damage. A lot to people. Uh, whoop. I don't want to lose my luck. So I am really just... Scaling away at this point. Yeah, I'll take that. I have nothing else to combine, so I can't use that stick, unfortunately. Alright. Let's see what happens. Hang on. That's what Cyberball is doing. 1,500. Okay. It must be chaining, surely. That must be Cyberball. That's a ridiculous amount of damage. Like, I've never seen damage figures that high. Yeah, look at this. Up. Up. Wow. Okay. I actually, I'm a bit speechless on how much damage this is doing. Like, it is so much. Considering we've got... A mouse and two gentle aliens as well. There's 
we're actually having to wait for spawns. I don't think we've ever had to, like, wait for spawns. Nope. 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 20 luck, thank you. Again, we can't do anything with that stick, unfortunately. That's not going to help us. Uh, more luck. Tempting, but it's a bit pointless, isn't it? Nope. Again, this is not particularly helpful. Nope. Nope. This is probably the most helpful item at the moment, is the metal. Again, can't do anything with the stick. Metal detector has got luck on it, which I completely missed. 657. And we're doing 17,054 damage. From our cyberballs. That's a bit silly, to say the least. And the more materials we pick up, the more we have a chance to trigger baby elephant, cyber ball, all that. So we want to just rush around and pick up as much as we can. Oh, that's true. We have wisdom as well. So actually, that cyber ball is going to scale to ridiculous levels. Excuse me, why are there so many enemies on here? What's our attack speed at? Yeah, our attack speed's low. <laughs> up, 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 up. Good thing is we have all these trees as well. So even though our attack speed's low, if we need to start the chain, we can always just go to a tree. Pick up some of the materials from there. Look at the amount of money. Yes, I will absolutely take that. Yeah, take that, take that. Yep, all of those are good. Whichever one comes first. Luck came first. This is our last shop in order to do something. Other than more luck. And more enemies. Don't think there really is anything for us to do. Snail's fine. Another tardy grade, even better. So... There's another cyberball. You telling me we haven't had... We haven't had a cute monkey either. Wow. Alright. Let's see how this does. Let's kill some enemies to start dealing some damage. Okay, so our sticks are still doing a decent amount of damage. Actually, we don't even... Okay, this might be my favourite build ever. We don't need to be anywhere near these enemies either to do damage to them. This has definitely got to be one of my favorite builds. See ya, nerds. Okay. Just question mark. That other one got deleted. All right, let's have a look at the MVP. The bag has given us... 2,100 materials. That's mad. Cyberball did 191,000 damage. It was doing what? Like 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 something. Probably about 2,500 per hit. Um, Once we got Wisdom up and running. Oh, we did have the Wolf Helmet. Yeah, that, that was a mad run, actually. How much did our passive do? It's up here. Oh, that won't tell us. So we need to find a uh, baby elephant. I mean, 237,000. That's pretty good. It's weirdly enough better than the cyber balls. But yeah, I'm happy with that. So let's have a look. Lucky charm. Plus 30 luck. Minus melee damage and range damage. Yeah. Pretty good. Especially here where we wouldn't really do much damage. So I'm happy with that. Alright guys, if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more, consider subscribing to the channel. And remember, if there's any types of builds you really want to see, um, or any mods that you want me to uh, play, please do let us know, because we are coming to the end of our Danger 5 runs. But um, 
yeah, hope you guys have a good day and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.